the Sub tore us down at the Lingshan Islands. But that was just Hargreave testing the water. He knew what we'd find buried out there. He just wanted to see what the nanosuits would do when we found it. just yet. We gotta go back. Back where we're needed. Thought I'd gone? Achieved with CryEngine. Hey everyone and welcome to our Crisis uh, Trilogy Remastered stream. We are going to show you uh, a Crisis 3 on uh, remastered running on the Series X. So it's gonna be super exciting. And today we are here with Stefan Habig, the project lead for Crisis Remastered. Hey, I hope you're doing well. Hey everyone. And myself, Bensa, uh, I'm the social media manager at Crytek. And before jumping into the game, uh, Stefan, tell us about yourself a bit because we heard about so many people, but tell us uh, what what are you doing on this project and at yeah. Crytek? Yeah, as I mentioned, I'm the project lead for Crisis Remastered Trilogy and I'm working already at Crytek since 15 years, almost 15, 15 wow. years, so I have started with the first Crisis original one here in, um, at Crytek as a QA tester. Oh. And because of that, I'm, I'm aware of all games because I've played 100 times through it as a QA tester. And yeah, then um, two and a half years ago, I started to lead the um, trilogy project. That must be crazy, uh, going from the original game as a QA tester to actually leading the project for yeah, the remaster. Really, it's really like a dream. I mean, if you, I mean, I've started here when I was 18 years old. And you know, you're a fanboy, you're starting at Crytek, they have just released Far Cry back in the days, and then um, all the hype about Crys 1 back in the days. And then, yeah, I was part of Crytek, and now leading the project is, is really honor for me, so that's great. That's super cool. Yeah. Uh, by the way, guys, you could uh, uh, see Stefan, to uh, Stefan talking on uh, Digital Foundry. Uh, uh, they already reviewed some of our remasters, so you can check those videos out. They are really in-depth on the technical side and really interesting to watch, I think. And also, we just released Crisis Remastered on Steam the past week, so check that out if you're interested in the PC version of Crisis Remastered. But today we are here, obviously, to look into uh, Crisis 3 Remastered and tell us about it. Why, why did we make this remaster or what was the idea behind the whole thing? Yeah, I mean, back in the days, we had super limitations for um, Xbox 360, for example, and PlayStation 3. And the game was running, let's say, not well on these platforms mm -hmm. back in the days. We, I think we achieved something like average 23, 24 FPS at the time. We need to disable a lot of features for the consoles because uh, PC was here and the console generations um, were here at this time. And we thought it was just time to bring um, not only the PC features to the consoles and also bring new features to the consoles, which we have achieved over the last 10 years with the CryEngine together, which are now part of the um, Xbox and PlayStation uh, release for Crisis Remaster Trilogy. Don't forget, as I mentioned already, Switch is different um, always, right? It's a handheld, it's a um, other device with other power capabilities. But yeah, for, for this, uh, we have a lot of stuff to show you. And I think you will like it. Yeah, um, yeah. definitely. Uh, Stefan mentioned the uh, Switch version uh, of Crisis 2 Remastered, I believe, which we actually already showed on stream, I think, last week. So if you guys want to see how that runs and how that looks on stream, you can just check back on our woods and check it out maybe you want to get that one as well but uh, i think we should dive into the game a bit and uh, sure. answer your questions guys this is like the first uh, uh, official gameplay look at crisis 3 remastered on running on the xbox series x console yeah. and we, we could show them the settings first like what do they have available on yeah, this version of sure. the game so 
So um, very important to mention first, I mean, what's important for you is to know that, for example, on the Xbox Series, uh, the Xbox Series X, you have um, up to 4K resolution. That is um, what you asked for and you're getting it. Of course, we have dynamic resolution technology in place, but you will play the game always in a very high uh, resolution and you should have stable 60 FPS boot of game. I mean, it's always 99%. I mean, there could be the case that 100 AI enemies will be in front of you with grenades, with uh, particular effects, stuff like this. Maybe we drop to 58 or 57 for a second. That could be, right? But other than that, you should see 60 FPS stable, especially on the Series X. Yes, for next gen. And then also for the current gen versions on Xbox One and Xbox One X, right? We have also a 60 FPS mode for the X. But um, for, and for the One, we have 30 FPS. And later on, we can also go in more details what are the differences between mm -hmm. next gen console in terms of quality and visuals and last gen console. Yes, and okay. also uh, for the PlayStation players in the chat, we will also show you PlayStation uh, very soon on stream as well with an exclusive gameplay look as well on the PS5, I believe. So Correct. keep an eye out for that. But yeah, uh, as Stefan mentioned, we have like 60 FPS and on stream it should be 60 FPS as well. And I've seen you guys asking why the stream is 1080p, but that's sadly uh, the only thing we can do with the bitrate we have for streaming. But uh, the gameplay is actually 4K, so it's downscale or up to 4K, and it's downscale to 1080p. So uh, we actually say the native, uh, see yeah, so the native resolution. You have to play it yourself at the end to enjoy the 4K 60 FPS stuff. <laughs> and the HDR. Which, and and yeah. HDR, that's also a new feature. Yes, that's correct. All right, so we are in the main menu. So um, basically, what are you expecting, right, from a game? You have resume game, low flash <laughs> checkpoint, restart level. Um, I don't want to go on some details because of server records. It's their information because I don't want to spoil it that much for you. So we show a little bit of this level here. Um, and then also, uh, yeah, difficulty settings. If you, if you think you are better, then just change it um, to make it harder. If you are not and you think there are some, I know it's too hard for you, you can just change it back, of course. And then here in the settings, basically um, you have to change this to change crosshair, subtitles and the HUD. The sound is also very basic. Visuals, you have the ch chance to uh, disable lens flares and also what is also new, motion blur mount. Some people like motion blur, some people not. Mm -hmm. For example, me personally, for motion blur, I disabling all the time for ego shooters. Some people like motion blur, so we give you the option to change that. Especially um, at 60 FPS, it's yes. maybe better to disable. Yeah. <laughs> Correct, yeah. Um, HDR, yeah, it's here. And that's the reason why HDR is enabled. And that's the reason why you cannot change the brightness at the moment. Save area, controller. And these are the settings for the remaster on Xbox Series X. Awesome. For, if you, I've also seen a lot of questions uh, over the last weeks. Also in other streams, um, yeah. Also for PC, we have um, some more options, of course. But you will see uh, PC streams, I think, in the future, right? We will have. Yeah, yeah we will stream. definitely have PC yeah. stream. All right, then I would say let's jump directly into the game. Yeah, let's go. Let's see how it okay. looks. Okay, let's go. And uh, and guys, if you have any questions, we will try to answer as much as we can. And at the very end of the stream, we will also have like a de dedicated Q and A section where you can ask as many questions as you'd like, and we will try to answer it. Uh, I see a first question asking, when is it on sale? Oh yeah, so <laughs> it will be released in just two and a half weeks, I think. So 15th okay. October, 15th yeah. of October. So for the Xbox, um, we have the Trilogy okay. version, uh, retail and digital. I'm the price will be 49.99. You can pre-order it on Amazon, GameStop and all the other oh, big stores. And I think also many local stores will have the Trilogy version on retail. And on top, digital, you are also able to buy one, two, and three separated. Yeah. So you can choose at the end. Uh, uh, is this the same for PC pricing wise? Someone is asking how much is it for PC? Yeah, so we're using the same uh, prices almost across all uh, platforms. For the Switch, it's different because we don't have a trilogy version on the Switch um, retail. Uh, we will have it digital, and we also have separate versions um, for the Switch digital. So I turn the game volume a bit down because someone said they can't hear us. So I hope it's a bit better. Yep, I hope it's better now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, what uh, Stefan mentioned is the uh, bundle version where you get all three games. But you can also get the game separately if you already have one, right? And uh, how much does it cost that way? Yeah, so um, the prices per game should be $29.99. Mm -hmm. yeah? um, and for the Trilogy version, $49.99. We also make sure, I mean, people maybe bought already Christ 1 Remastered and they got also a discount at the end. So mm -hmm. they don't need to buy the full 
price again, right? With two and three, so they're getting discounts. So it will be fair for you. You don't need to really pay on top if you would like to have Christ Tomb Christ free too. And that's a, a gift from, from Crytek to you. Awesome. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, yeah, you can already pre-order it. So if you like the stream, like the gameplay, then make sure to check out those stores and <laughs> get it because it's super cool. Yeah. And you actually get three games for that price. So I think that's like really cool and they are all remastered. Uh, someone is asking about the resolution. We already said that it's uh, on at least the Series X. It's uh, up, to up to 4K dynamically. Yeah. So, and 60 FPS. So, as you can see, the gameplay is pretty smooth. Uh, actually, Stefan is playing because he has a bit more experience <laughs> with Crisis than myself. <laughs> but it's amazing. Uh, Any plans on having um, an FOV slider for the game? Uh, we will have it uh, for PC. So that will be on PC? Yeah. Are there any downgrades? <laughs> downgrades? No, there are no downgrades. So, um, I mean, we have seen a lot of comments, of course, um, also negative comments for Christ 1 Remastered. Um, I mean, people are aware that we have, it was based on the console version uh, we have developed. But for Christ 2 and Christ 3, um, just pausing for a second, mm -hmm. Christ 2 and Christ 3 is different because we didn't start from console version because everything was there directly and that's the reason that, that nothing is missing. So everything is now built up on top and the quality is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we'll have a PlayStation 5 stream later this week as uh, our community managers mentioned in the chat. So. You uh, get to see some exclusive gameplay. Maybe we'll show Crisis 2 Remastered for the PlayStation 5 just so it's more versatile, but uh, you can expect the same there. Uh... Yeah, so um, so let's talk a little bit maybe of, about the future. So uh, features, mm -hmm. not also future. Features. Yeah, features and futures. So um, we have um, planner, um, screen space reflections. So maybe you have seen it in a digital foundry stream. The thing is, people are asking, hey, is ray tracing also part of consoles? So the answer is no for Christ 2 and Christ Remastered. It will be exclusive for PC. But um, for example, if you um, have a puddle next to you, and you're looking into it, and some wet areas, you're seeing some reflections, you will really think, oh, it looks like ray tracing, uh, but it's actually not ray tracing. And there are different reasons why we didn't uh, use ray tracing for it, of course, first performance. Mm -hmm. Because we have seen in Christ 1 Remastered, once ray tracing was enabled, we were just hit 1080p 30 FPS. And we think to give you a better feeling of the game, uh, we went now with screen space reflections. And But you have 4K, up to 4K and 60 FPS. And we think it's a better More experience. Work. Yeah, yeah. Experience for so can you show us some ref reflections? Sure, I mean, like, just in the water area. Yeah, I mean, so. uh, yeah, I mean, that's just some basic reflections here, right? Mm -hmm. It's in all the reflections here, and also from the dam here. Yeah, and also here from the water, everything is there. But also, if you're going up, there are some puddles. You can also then check it out. Um, yeah, we have also increased the textures, of course, for for this year. Oh, did, did it. Let me check. Yeah, you can also hack in this game. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. And now he's shooting into the enemies. Yeah. <laughs> You're really good at this. That was very quick. <laughs> yeah, as I mentioned at the beginning, I've played this game, I think, 100 times back in the days. So, yeah. Yeah, so I already see a lot of questions, and you said we will answer these, asking about the difference between the current, I mean, I mean now next gen consoles and the previous gen consoles. Yeah. So let me just hack it a little bit. So good. So the difference between old and new um, generations. There is, we have um, up to 4K resolution, uh, 60 FPS. That's one difference. Mm -hmm. You have a tessellation support. Uh, you have 60 FPS um, water ripples. You have 60 FPS weapon animations on next gen. Um, these are basically the features you have with the Series X. Uh, besides of that, Nothing is downscaled in in the, in the older ver uh, Xbox versions. So if you have Xbox One or Xbox X, you experience the game most with that quality you've seen right now. But of course, if you want to experience the game with a higher resolution and higher frame rate, you have you need to have an Xbox One X or mm -hmm. Xbox Series X at the end. Okay, yeah. so but it's mostly some improvements over like in FPS and like resolution. Correct. And 
I mean, at the end, you also have access to so much more power and memory, mm -hmm. and that's the reason we also you can we can use it for the Xbox Series X at the end. And is this the same for the PlayStation 4 and 5? Yeah, so PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 are exactly the same differences compared to Xbox One and Xbox Series X. So all the difference you're seeing here is also are also part um, for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 at the end. Yeah, and the game is running so smoothly. So yeah, it's crazy. And looks so good. Oh, so uh, I've seen a question saying that we changed some sound effects in uh, Crisis 1 Remastered. Are we changing some in the new one as well, or...? Yeah, um, so for Crisis 2, we um, made a lot of improvements. So back in the days for Crisis 2, we had this blue-greenish style, right? Mm -hmm. But now, uh, because we also have Swoggy now in Crisis 2, uh, we have changed a lot. And for Crisis 3, we have, um, because it looked already great back in the days, and even now it looks great. So we haven't changed, uh, we haven't changed that much in terms of lighting, but we have changed vegetation shading, for example. And here there are some textures. We went also from many materials and assets in the game and improved that. If you have seen some low texture resolution assets, we have improved that. So we just made sure that um, everything looks very good in Trials 3. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks really great, for sure. We will have a PC dedicated stream as well, guys, where we can show you the ray tracing and all the bells and whistles that are for PC. Uh, so please keep an eye out for that as well. Yeah. It's uh, it's capped at 60 FPS on the Series X, right? Yeah, so it's it capped can 60. go over yeah. 60. Yeah, it's capped on 60 FPS. Yeah. That's correct. Oh, I'm over. It's <laughs> Someone is asking for mod support on PC for... So, um, what we will add for sure is that you have access to um, all Sivas again, like for Christ 1 Remastered, which was not the case when for the original games, for Christ 2 and Christ 3, because also, um, um, I mean, multiplayer was part and you should not be able to modify the game, right? Since we now focus only on single player, as you are aware of this, you have now access to all Sivas, you can create your own configs, you can change the game in any way you like you can experiment with the with the sivas and also especially for pc we're also having all ray tracing sivas um in the game which you can just change and playing around so that is for sure we're also working maybe um on the option to give you the shaders like we did it we give it to you also in christ one remastered mm -hmm. so able to modify this too but besides of that that would be it at the end what we can give give to people outside yeah awesome yeah, so uh, we are trying to give PC information as well, just like this one that Stefan just said. But as I said, we will have a dedicated stream for PC as well. This is for the Xbox Series X right now, so you can uh, see it. And uh, FPS drops for Series X, like uh, it's pretty stable 60, but if there's like, as Stefan mentioned in the beginning, like 100 people, everything exploding, then maybe it drops like one, two frames. Yeah, but it's really that, that much, let's say, Michael Bay uh, explosion yeah. scenes, right? I mean, 99% of the time you should see the 60 FPS, but if I say not 100% and you experience, it says, let's say in 8 hours gameplay, you experience 1-2 drops, you're saying, hey, he said 100%, yeah. I experienced 2 seconds uh, frame drop in the whole game. So that's the reason why I'm saying 9-10% because <laughs> there could always be a different case of performance drop in the game, yeah. But, yeah. but other than that, it's just really fluent, it feels great, and I think that's also the, one of the big changes. Um, compared to the original Crisis on the consoles and now to the new console generations. Mm -hmm. Not only on the Xbox Series X, as I mentioned, also on the older generation. You have just a smooth experience of the game and you can just enjoy it. As you know, for a um, first-person shooter game, it's very important that you have um, stable FPS. If you don't have stable FPS, I mean, it feels not that good, right? True, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Okay, I think we sh uh, should focus a bit on the gameplay, just yeah. so we can like show it off a bit as well. And uh, maybe you could commentate on like what's happening or or what what is uh, like exciting to see yeah. improvement wise uh, while you're going. Yeah. So uh, my task at the moment is to destroy the dam here. Um, I don't, as I mentioned, I don't want to spoil it that much. Uh, also, don't to talk that much about like this level. Ten years old spoiler. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, there are, I think many people outside which didn't play Crisis yet. True. I mean. I think also many young people know maybe only the Cry Canon Run Crisis meme, mm -hmm. right? They are aware of this. 
but I didn't actually play Crysis back in the days because they always said, "Oh, for Crysis, I need a new, I need a new awesome um, PC, for example, yeah? yeah, and stuff like this." But from, yeah, that's not the case anymore. Um, also, in terms of performance, they did a lot of. Oh, now it's getting harder. Uh oh. <laughs> that's a little bit difficult to focus. And talk at the same time. And talking yeah. at the same time because. Oh. Right, no, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even the best can die. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Yeah. Everyone cries. It's correct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it comments. is actually somewhat crazy to see like a like a game like this, like looking this good and running so smooth on a console in person. It's really impressive. Are the controller uh, options or feel is the same as the old one? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, let me think about if we. Yeah, it should be almost the same. Yes. Yeah. Game over. Yeah, game it's, over. It can happen. <laughs> So you've only beaten Crisis once so far. I mean, then is the perfect time to jump into two and three in just two weeks or a bit over two weeks. Oh, I died again. <laughs> One down. I need to be more sneaky now and playing with the modes. Okay. I mean, with Crisis, with the Nano Suit, you have of course modes like here the cloak mode, right? And you have the armor mode. So um, yeah, can you actually show people the ball? I think so. I've seen someone ask. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually a very good weapon in this game. Mm hmm. So that's. It looks very satisfying too. Yeah. So, do you usually play on PC or, or some consoles? So, um, I'm a PC gamer most likely. But of course, if there are any exclusive games out there um, for Xbox or for PlayStation, yeah, I'm, I'm always switching then. Um, especially on the Switch, it's also my uh, my kids loving the Switch. Mm. And if you are, of course, also then, uh, let's say, Mario or Zelda fan, of course, yeah. you're also then switching. No options, really. Yeah. I mean, what's also good, um, Rise is always that you have different ways to achieve the goals, right? So you could just jump into the water. And go to the next one. <laughs> Sneaky. Sneaky, yeah. <laughs> this area was too hard. <laughs> That's good. Someone asked what console was better to work with, but I, I, I don't know if you can answer that. But like, let's say, how, how no. was it working with the consoles? Or so new, since new development game? was, I mean, it was the same, right? Mm -hmm. As I mentioned, Xbox and PlayStation, we have used the same branch for PC for Xbox and for PlayStation. So it was not like that the PC um, was a different branch. We should be really aware that the quality for, for these consoles versions are very high. But for for PC then later on, we'll be covering it later on on the stream, uh, we have a lot of more stuff for PC users uh, because we have also then more power, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so people will love to see then also later on the PC version. But really don't worry about this. The console version looks very, very great. It, it does. like. We are uh, looking at, I think it's a 4K monitor as well, yeah. with, with some HDR on it, and it looks really pretty yeah. and very smooth, so. Uh, someone asked, what is the hardest difficulty called on console? One second, after the cutscene I can show you the <laughs> settings menu. So yeah, now we have um, destroyed the second part here of the dam. Mm -hmm. Oof. I mean, also here, I mean, there are many particle effects. I didn't feel like the frame really Yeah, changed. no, frame rate is still stable. So what we are playing at the moment is the uh, day zero patch, right? So what people getting at the end, um, I mean, it's uh, always, people are always mm -hmm. asking, oh, why is the day zero patch? Okay, so it's basically because, for example, now we, can, we went to a retail production and we needed to go into retail production two or three months before the release. Because you need to manufacture all the copies, you need to send them over to the to the stores and stuff like this. And I mean, what you could do at the end, you can just be in the chair and say, "Okay, we do nothing anymore of this project," and saying, "Hey, we're giving the people a better experience." 
because we have three months more time for development until the release date and that's the reason why most of the times we have the zero patches from mm -hmm. this yeah so yeah uh, everyone can expect a day zero patch on the consoles it's on pc as well uh, yeah for pc, PC not it's because full version yeah full version directly of course yeah <laughs> Someone says they can't see the game on the Xbox Store. Yeah, because you cannot pre-order it yet. Mm. Uh, you can only pre-order oh, the, the, the retail version now, as I mentioned. I mean, if you check Amazon.com, Amazon uh, in Europe, for example, the websites, you will see just Enter in Christ Free Master Trilogy, and you will see it um, on the store there. But um, for digital, you have to wait until the 15th of October. Yeah, so on digital, it will release on the day of the release day. But uh, if you want to get your hands on the game physically, then you can already pre-order it from the retail stores. Correct, yeah. <laughs> what is the question there? Is this multiplayer? So um, we also have seen, of course, after every in every post, we've seen this question, right? In yeah. multiplayer. So we really have focus on single player only for the full trilogy. And um, that's basically it. Yeah, it's a full single player experience of Christ 1, 2, 3 remastered. And we think then also with the uh, price point of 49.99 for three full triple a games yeah we think it's fair it is very fair yeah it looks so good <laughs> <laughs> i mean people have been using crisis we uh, like i've seen linus tactic using it for benchmarking purposes a lot uh, it, it, it's gonna be interesting to see how the remaster is uh, for the same yeah but we have to say it's not only for um, for pc also for um, xbox we have made over hundreds of improvements for cpu and gpu because we are aware that you want to play the game with high frame rate right and yeah and don't don't worry also about this i mean of course ray tracing is a different topic because ray, if ray tracing kicks in there's always some performance costs but other than that um you can be you can play the game in very high FPS uh, for PC at the end. And that's also the reason why we are able to have 60 FPS on consoles. Because we made so many improvements yeah. on CPU and GPU at the end. Yeah, I think before also proceeding here more into uh, with this level, we can also maybe jump on another level. I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah. Meanwhile, I've seen an interesting question actually asking about the Series S. Like, what's the difference between the Series X and Series S consoles? <laughs> yeah, that's so a hard <laughs> question, I feel like. Yeah, so um, we have... It's basically only the resolution at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have between, I think it's 1080p and 4040p on Xbox Series S. Mm -hmm. But it's expected because of the of um, teraflops um, differences between a Series X and a um, Xbox Series S <laughs> naming conventions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry if I'm getting confused a little bit. Um, yeah. That's a lot of X's on yeah. Series and S. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's start maybe with Welcome in the Jungle. So it's only the dynamic, like the resolution is a bit lower on the Series S, which Correct. is the same for many other Correct, games yeah. as well. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, you have 60 FPS support, right? The 60 FPS support um, will be added with the Zero patch, so that's a part of it. Mm -hmm. In case you have the gold version in your hand and you have a 6 Series S, uh, S, just make sure that you um, download the latest day Zero patch, that you are also getting 4K support at the end. Because that's we have made more improvements over the last three months in the game, and because of this, we we were able also to give you for um, 60 FPS with the Series S. Yeah. Awesome. Somebody was asking about an HDR. Is it like how is it? In, is it just like a proper HDR yeah. implementation? Yeah. So um, me for me personally, I have an HDR TV at home, and of course I have also checking there already. Christ 2 and Christ 3 remastered, and I think HDR is really a big big game change and big difference in the game, a positive one. Yeah, so really, if you have an HDR display in place, make sure to enable HDR for Xbox, for PlayStation, for PC at the end, because all the dark, uh, darker areas or the general picture and the colors, it looks just really good. Awesome. Again, p uh, people that are asking about the pre-orders, so you can already pre-order the game physically uh, on the retail version, but the digital version will only be available on the release day on the 15th of October. So in about two and a half weeks. Great, not that. Yeah. Far away, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, uh, the difficulty. Yes. Thank you, Hugo. Did <laughs> <laughs> uh, it change? Ah, because, uh, yeah. We only um, started with this now. Uh, you need to start a new, um, because we started to recruit, and because of this, you are not able to increase it. 
So you need to start the game. You can show it later. If you start a new campaign, you can select in the modes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You always, I mean, we have also achievements, right? right? And the problem is, let's say you are at the end of a level and you're changing from the lowest one to the highest one just to getting the achievement, right? Yeah, and because of cheating. this, yeah, you're cheating, right? It's because of this, you are not able to change it to a higher one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. achievements are tied to difficulty as well. Yeah, 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 correct, yeah. But there's also achievements, I think, uh, where you need to finish some levels with the highest difficulty more, for example, and stuff like this. And because of this, you're not able to change. So make sure, maybe try out the highest one at the beginning. Mm -hmm. If you and you feel <laughs> at, at the beginning, uh, I think it's Super Soldier. Um, um, I'm not 100% sure at the moment. But if you feel it's too hard at the end, then um, yeah, just switch. Uh, so the all, all three games version is, uh, I think it's a 49.99? Correct. So really, three games, Christ 1, 2, and 3, 49.99, which is, uh, I think, 70 euros per game mm -hmm. at the end for the yeah. trilogy package. And a lot of hours of gameplay as oh, well. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we're talking really about 30, 40 hours at the end of, uh, of gameplay. I mean, also depending, if you know the game already, you may be faster, of course. But if you're new into new into a game and not rushing through it, you have a lot of long hours with crisis then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's... And the twenty nine ninety nine price is f for the single games if they buy it separately. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Yeah. Is the grass fifty uh, sixty frames? Yeah. It looks. Yeah. Yeah. There was also a question here. Yeah, that sort of also grass has changed. I mean, we know that uh, for example here the. Just here, the weapon animation, here, the reload animation. So smooth, yeah. yeah. I mean, back in the days, we had the 30 FPS, um, FPS animations. We have fixed that. Um, I mean, we also, let's say, working together with Witcher Foundry. They're providing us very good feedback over the last weeks, not only for PC, also for consoles. And yeah, they also made aware um, to us, hey, what is with the 60 FPS animation? What is with Crest mm -hmm. animations? And we just made sure that everything will be also part. The, that's awesome i think that's actually a very interesting question like what did the dig digital front like what did they suggest and what did we actually change on their suggestion i think that's like really yeah i mean we know that um digital front they like crisis but i'm super happy they were super honest to us and sometimes they have destroyed our game right oh. they, i mean we already um, worked together since several months now and i said hey Stefan, this we need to change this or this doesn't look good this looks very bad and then we had a um internal Back tracker list only for digital foundry right and oh. okay we need to fix this 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 and i think now at the end i think we had 33 or 34 issues just from digital foundry on feedback points and um there's zero, zero left now wow that's yeah. really impressive yeah so we have um, worked on all of them now and for the consoles and, and also for um the pc version i think it's really cool to involve them as well because they are such a big fan of the whole series yeah i mean this um was super fun to work with them together. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was also something new for them, right? And also something new for us. Um, but it worked super well, and we are super happy that they were able to um, help us and give us feedback with the game. Yeah, so I've seen some questions about the color changes. Like, are there any? Because, like, Crisis Remastered, the one, is like changed a lot on the colors and just like the palette overall. How, how is it for uh, two and three? So, for two, um, it's really super realistic now. So we have put our um, artist lead, Master Shaika, on the project. And um, he went really through all levels, all the areas, and said, hey, we need to change this, we need to change this, we need to change this. And you will also see a, a big difference in Christ 2. For Christ 3, we didn't change that much, since the lighting is already good, mm -hmm. in our opinion. I hope for you too. And we only improved some areas, which we thought, okay, maybe that was too dark back in the days. Or the style has changed now um, in the current days, and let's adjust this a little bit here, a little bit here, and um, also especially in in-game rooms, for example. Yeah. So that is in terms of lighting our changes. But as I mentioned, for Crisis Two and Three, we have touched a lot of materials, a lot of assets in the game. We also have um, in, um, worked on the weapons, right? So also, mm -hmm. also looking better now. Awesome. And so uh, someone asked, if, "Can we turn off HDR?" I don't know if. It is it possible to do that? No, because the uh, monitor is ready. Yeah, the uh, monitor, yeah. We would love to show you, but yeah. <laughs> the monitor automatically turns it on. Yeah. 
sacrifice to stop the seven. So yeah, if maybe it looks a bit too bright, that could be because of HDR and how it how uh, Twitch and YouTube handles it. So yeah. But yeah. it looks really good. I'm sorry again, um, yeah, um, Hugo, you're very active. Thanks for this. We, we're reading your comments. So yeah, um, as we mentioned, yeah, Digital Foundry was, we have seen it in the past. Um, we have also invited them two, three weeks before Crisis 1 remastered release. And they have mentioned, hey, look, this is this doesn't look good, this. And it was too late. We have fixed some issues for PC. And, and then now um, some issues we have fixed and over the last patches for PC. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but for Christ 2 and Christ 3, they were part basically since four, four or five months now, yeah, already. So someone is asking, like, uh, looking at the fa facial features, did we change, like, the character faces or animation? Because they say it looks very humane now, compared to the older version. Um, it's maybe because we have worked on the textures in the game, but, um, yeah, but specifically character, we have improved a lot of characters for uh, Christ 2, mm -hmm. but for Christ 3, um, just the textures. That basically. much, yeah, that much for in character, yeah. They were already yeah. pretty good. Yes. <laughs> but as you can see how see how it looks very crispy, right? Mm -hmm. And in terms of also resolution and the textures. Yeah, I mean uh even if like maybe it looks a bit bright on stream for you guys, but like on an HDR screen it looks really nice. Yeah. Where you can actually see the range from dark to brighter. Uh there's a good question for you, I think specifically, is like how did we decide on remastering two and three as well after one, or was it always planned, or was it, it was it was always planned? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the answer. <laughs> it was always planned. Yeah. <laughs> so there was not oh let's see how Christ one is and let's work on Christ two and Christ three. No, so Crisis one two three started almost at the same time. Um, I think Christ two and Christ three had a. We started, I think, six months later, five, six months later. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So they were actually being worked on somewhere tenacity as well, a bit. Or uh, did you start working after the release of one, or no, no, already during like the. So we have started with the development of Christ One Remastered, mm -hmm. and then six months later, we have also started with Christ Two and Christ. Oh, okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, you also have access to alien weapons here, right? So here, these are That's some true. aliens. Maybe you're aware of some crisis stories. There are also aliens in the game. I don't tell you why, because if you didn't play the game yet and want to play from one, two, and three to all of them, you will know why aliens are involved in the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you will be able to play it on PlayStation Four as well. Yeah, uh, as well as uh, Xbox One. Correct. We have, we have, we have Switch. Yeah. <laughs> we have PlayStation Four, PlayStation Five. We have Xbox One, Xbox Series X, new and old gen and generations, and of course, uh, um, on PC at the end. Exactly. Um, I've seen a question. Will the game on disc? Yes, the game will be on disc for retail. And there's there won't be just a digital code. I mean, sometimes I have seen that too, that you're buying a retail disc, a uh, retail version, it's just a, but it's just, just a code, code. Then. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just the code, right? But now you have a really an actual disc and the trilogy looks very nice, also in terms of the layout. I mean, you can check it out if you visit um, the stores and if you want would like to pre-order it. Or buying it later, you will see the key art looks really cool on the package. And um, I, have, I have it already in uh, home, the, key, wow. the retail version, right. and it looks really nice um, uh, in my basement, in my room, in my Batman cave, yeah. <laughs> crisis cave, yeah. <laughs> in my crisis cave, yeah. yeah. Uh, will you show PS5 version before release date? We will. Uh, this Friday, uh, if it goes as planned, we'll also be here. As again, showing you the PlayStation 5 version, um, with Crisis 2 Remastered, so it's not the same game. So we can also talk about the changes there. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely show that, and the uh, PC version as well. So I'll try to show you everything. Uh, someone asked if they can still buy the vanilla version as well, so the original. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> I not? mean, yeah. I mean, we need, need to search in stores. But I think it's still possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know that they're available for sure on Steam, of course, and yeah. other platforms. Um, but for Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3, I don't know. Maybe if you have a PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360, you have access to the store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm not 100% sure. But I, I think it's still possible to buy these games. Yeah. Okay. So someone is asking about physics updates or like ragdoll updates. Uh, did we change anything physics-wise? Um, now, from physics point of view, uh, we didn't change stuff. We just made sure that all the physics 
um, improvements we had for PC back in the days and now also part of consoles. So you're also getting the full feature set on consoles in terms of physics. So it's not nothing. There's nothing downgraded. Mm -hmm. So as I mentioned, you're getting almost the full feature set also on Xbox Series X, PlayStation Five, and some little stuff which is less. As I mentioned, tessellation won't be part for um, all their next, all their gen versions, and um, yeah. 4K 60 FPS support, for example, yeah. Exactly. Okay, let's show a bit of gameplay and then we can actually do like a bit of Q&A at the very end as well. Sure. Okay, asking questions about shadows, I don't know if you have any. Uh, does your character cast shadows indoors those, uh, from light sources? I mean, you can see. You mean this one here right now? I yeah. Mean, here's the light source, here's the character, and here's the shadow. I mean... I think the answer is yes. <laughs> good timing, uh, yeah. Jeffrey. Yeah, <laughs> very good timing. Yeah. <laughs> Looks very nice too. And we can show the uh, reflections here as well because I. Yeah, I mean, you can see nice uh, lens flares here. Yeah. Right. See also in my. Yes, my, my shadow from the character mm. moving around because here is a light source. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely shadows and what do you believe? Yeah. Yeah, I think um that's it, right? From terms Yeah, of I mean gameplay. unless you want to show something specifically still. No, I think people I mean I just want to go too deep into the story again because I only showed a half level of, of um of the dam level, right? Canyon, it calls internally canyon, and also here with um, fields, for example, just the beginning of it. Because I think you will love to experience the game, and especially if we now spoiler too much for Crisis 3, right? Because which is the last title of the series, and mm -hmm. um, it doesn't, yeah, I don't know, show you that much because maybe you also want to see Crisis 1 and Crisis 2 before, exactly. But uh, then, last thing we could show is the settings for the difficulties at the end, like yeah, someone else. Oh, someone also is this live stream or pre-recorded? It is live. It's yeah. live. <laughs> you can see your comments. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be pretty hard Reinhardt, to answer the question. <laughs> Reinhardt, Reinhardt, Reinhardt seven. Yeah. You can see your comment. It's live. Yeah. Don't worry about this. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's okay. Let's check the campaign. New campaign, and you can see it. Super Soldier is the hardest. Yeah. So we challenge you to start off with that and see how far you get. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, and uh, yeah, then um, let's let just uh, ask any questions you may have, guys, right now in the chat. Uh, and we'll try to answer as many as you have. And uh, that will be the small little stream for today. And as I mentioned uh, already, we'll be back this Friday uh, with a PlayStation 5 stream as well. So you'll see some gameplay from there too. And then uh, the game will release very, very soon. It will be less than two weeks at that point. So mm -hmm. we are very excited. Um, someone's asking when will it uh, available to pre-order you can already pre-order retail only for now and for digital you have to wait until 15th of october and then you can just buy it on release date mm -hmm. so what's the bigger differences between the normal game and the remastered versions um there's, a, there's a too, many. Many. <laughs> too much i mean i think it makes sense in later point because internally we have a big sheet of um i think 80 or 70 different items for Christ 1 to 3 mastered, we're showing the differences, right? For each game, for each console. And I think maybe it makes sense at one day that we can also share this close mm -hmm. before the launch with the community. Yeah. It's up um, to marketing. Yeah. <laughs> we will see. I can't promise anything. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think it's fair that you can see the full table of improvements we made because it's really a lot. And you see then at the end how many new technologies are in the game, how many improvements are in the game. And at the end, if you really compare them with the old version and compare it also with some areas, even with little areas, you will see all the improvements in place. And then you could just... seen an yeah. interesting question yeah. about the engine version. Like, uh, what's the difference between the old and new? Yeah, so... Um, also, I have answered this for uh, Crysis 1 Remaster back in the day. So, yes, we have started on the um, old Crysis uh, 3.6 version, but it's heavily modified now. We, we have started on it because we had the console support and everything was done, but we have um, integrated so many changes from CryEngine 5, from the latest CryEngine. So we call it, I don't know, 
it's just modified. Even if you call it Cry Engine 4 at the moment, it would be wrong. It's heavily modified to our needs for Cry 3 Remastered. And as all basically almost all the best features uh, from Cry 5 we have put also into the game. Plus also we have now this dynamic resolution uh, feature, right? We have we have Switch also um, support now and um, for this modified version and stuff like this. Yeah. Awesome. Super Soldier, yeah. You saw it. <laughs> uh, also, I'll check Discord if like our moderators collected any questions. Yeah. If Ari is uh, in the chat, uh, if so, you okay, collected so, anything, please send. So, Swoga support for infinite bounces. So maybe I can also um, also talk a little bit about cube maps, because I'm um, back in the days we were limited by let's say memory. Hey. <laughs> Ari, yeah. <laughs> We were very limited by memory, and because of this, we had less cube maps. Let's say maybe we had only one cube map for one area. But now we have maybe seven or eight cube maps for one area because we have more memory access um, for the consoles. And even for PC, we, are, we have more at the end. And that's the reason why also you feel sometimes, um, if, for example, it's squeeze space reflections um, showing something, but it has seven, eight cube maps inside of the reflections. And that's the reason why I've mentioned in the, at the beginning of the screen, it feels like ray tracing is there. But actually, it's not real ray tracing, but you think it's ray tracing. Mm -hmm. And actual ray tracing is on the PC version, so yes. you can actually play with ray tracing. Someone even asked that right now. Yeah. So there is an RTX version for PC exclusively, so you'll be able to use ray tracing there. Yeah, but this will also then cover, of course, um, with the PC stream in the future. But don't worry about this. You will um, like the PC version a lot. For all the PC fans, um, be taking care of that. For sure, yeah. Are you from Crytek US office? No, we are in Frankfurt. In Frankfurt, yeah. yeah. Right from Germany, yeah. yeah. Our headquarter here is in Frankfurt. Uh, we do have a Crisis Instagram account, so you can just uh, search Crisis on Instagram and follow it. And that's a good point, actually, to follow all the social media platforms for Crisis, because you can find all the news, all the discounts, if there's any, all the release dates and every important information posted there. We also have a lot of memes and such, so make sure to follow them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, obviously YouTube, where you're watching right now, and for streams on Twitch, which is for the Crytek channel. So you can find all the news there. Uh, as for next gen, as we already mentioned, uh, Rife showed now you get higher FPS and uh, higher dynamic resolution as for improvements mainly. Yeah, so maybe I can uh, explain what is dynamic resolution. So yeah, because you always seen up to 4K. What that, what does it mean? So there is a technology called dynamic resolution. That means I say your game is running in 4K, but a lot of action is happening in the game. So what could happen? You could just chop it down to 30 FPS, right? Which is not good. But you can also, with the new resolution, you are able to say, hey, instead of 4K, maybe run in between 4040p and 4K in some kind of, find the right resolution to keep the sexy FPS all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that is um, the new resolution. And I think it's a super technology um, because really you don't see the um, many drops from, let's say, um, 8840, let's say, to 8, uh, 3200, for example, in, res in terms of resolution, you, you don't see it. But you would see it directly if it would be a frame drop, right? Yeah. And that's the reason why you have dynamic resolution in place, but you have 60 FPS. And that's more important for, for a gamer. And it's more consistent and feels better yeah. overall. Okay, we'll answer a few more questions, guys, and then uh, that will be it for that's, today. So, yeah. Does yeah. the retail version contain one disc where all three games are will be get? So, luckily, really, it was super close. We had, um, I think on a disc, it fits 50 gigabyte. And at the end, we had a 48 or 49 gigabyte wow. <laughs> of all yeah. three games for um, for console. So yes, uh, one disc with all three games. Awesome. Any last questions, guys, that you want to see now? And as we mentioned earlier, obviously, we will we'll be back this week uh, with the PlayStation 5 version of Crisis 2 Remastered. Yeah, and uh, Crisis 1 Remastered actually just released on Steam as well, so you can check that out as well on Steam, guys. 
I, I seen a question earlier uh, asking if we support SLI on PC because like the technology is not really existing anymore from NVIDIA that much. So, um, <laughs> because I know that people tested like huge yeah. PCs with double GPUs. I mean, also me as a per personal hardware uh, fan, I had, I think six, seven years ago, I had my last time I um, SLI set up, so, uh, but um, we didn't test it. We, we, we maybe got, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so. So no from our side, there's no support for SLI for the PC. But as I mentioned already, with all the hundreds of CPU and GPU optimizations we have done for Crysis 1, 2, 3 Remastered, um, you will be able to run in a high frame rate with your graphic card. Even uh, with lower end graphic cards, let's say, I mean, what's lower end in these days? Um, you you, will be, able, you yeah. will be able to um, have it. And also we have also hardware ray tracing support um for the rtx cards for example then later on we also can cover in the pc streams right you're getting a boost of fps again so yeah don't worry about this um that you're not getting sli at the end yeah uh then someone asked about like um dlss support like we have for one um on PC let's wait it. for the for the pc stream we'll see yeah <laughs> Okay, I think that's mostly uh, the questions for now, at least for Xbox. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, we will be back this week with another stream on PlayStation. Mm -hmm. So uh, for all the PlayStation fans out there, you don't have to wait too much. And then uh, after that, we'll show you the PC version as well. Uh, but obviously, as I mentioned, keep an eye on all our announcements on all social media to be informed about the streams, uh, as well all other videos we may release or uh, showcases of the game. And uh, it is releasing on October 15th on all platforms. So check it out, pre-order it if you want it in a physical version or wait till the release date. Uh, actually, can they wishlist it anywhere or is that not possible? Um, also, it's not possible. Not yet. possible. Yep. So yeah, so better keep an eye out and uh, get it when it comes out. And uh, yeah, I think uh, that's for it now, guys. Thank you, Stefan, for all the information and being here with us today. And uh, thank you guys for uh, watching. And if you come up with any questions by Friday, please come back and ask it then and we'll try to answer it as well. So uh, thank you again for uh, stopping by today and uh, catch you later. Yep. Thank you. Bye-bye.